Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 5 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, July 1st, coming on with an update about extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane barrel beginning to pull away uh, pretty quickly here from the Windward Islands, currently at 5 o'clock centered about 125 miles to the northwest of Grenada. Very powerful hurricane, classic looking, well-defined eye on satellite imagery. Maximum sustained winds are estimated to be around 150 miles per hour. If we switch over to the infrared imagery, again, very classic looking, uh, clear eye with uh, very cold, symmetric thunderstorm activity in the eye wall around the center. We'll have the NOAA hurricane hunters uh, in the P3 aircraft flying into the storm tonight. Give us uh, more direct measurements on just how how strong barrel is, but expected to remain a powerful hurricane for the next couple of days. Uh, we're still seeing impacts in portions of the Windward Islands. We have tropical storm warnings in effect from St. Vincent and the Grenadines up northward to Martinique. Uh, and we still just in the last hour or so had a wind gust of 64 miles per hour in St. Lucia. So in some of these rain bands, still very strong gusty winds, still seeing a heavy rainfall of three to six inches, storm total amounts of isolated amounts as high as 10 inches in portions of the Windward Islands. But the winds are gradually going to diminish here over the next uh, few hours as barrel pulls quickly away, moving west-northwest at 21 miles per hour. So the forecast for barrel continues to take it quickly west-northwestward to westward across the Caribbean Sea over the next several Several days. You can see the track forecast here. With the center of the storm expected to pass south of Hispaniola on Tuesday and Tuesday night. However, uh, given the large size of the system, the tropical storm force winds are expected to reach portions of the southern coast of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, where we have a tropical storm warning in effect. And then on Wednesday, the center of barrel is expected to pass near or over Jamaica. We have a hurricane watch in effect uh, with the worst conditions there expected on Wednesday. And then after that time, barrel is going to pass uh, through the northwestern Caribbean, perhaps coming close to the Cayman Islands. Uh, Belize, the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico Thursday and Friday, and then moving into the extreme southern Gulf of Mexico as we get into Saturday. So uh, certainly going to be impacts across the Caribbean Sea from barrel over the next several days. Uh, one small piece of good news is that the atmospheric environment is expected to become less favorable for barrel to maintain this very high intensity as we go through the week. But the system is expected to remain a major hurricane through Tuesday night or Wednesday morning and maintain hurricane strength all the way until it gets to the Yucatan Peninsula on uh, late Thursday or Thursday night or early Friday. And barrel is still forecast to be a rather potent tropical storm in the southern Gulf of Mexico next weekend. Uh, looking at the best chances for hurricane conditions, we're most concerned about Jamaica, where that hurricane warning is in effect. You can see the chances of uh, tr uh, hurricane force winds are greatest there, but also a chance of hurricane force winds as we get out several days into the future by the time we get later into the week across the Yucatan Peninsula. Looking at the timing of arrival of those wind hazards in uh, Hispaniola, southern coast of Hispaniola, the most likely time of arrival of those tropical storm force winds will be uh, Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning in Jamaica. So folks in Jamaica have tomorrow. Uh, to prepare for potential impacts of a hurricane. We could see a hurricane warning issued for Jamaica later tonight. Uh, and in, in the Cayman Islands would be Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. And then the time of arrival of sustained tropical storm force winds along the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Mexico would be Thursday evening, then advancing across the Yucatan Peninsula and reaching the southern Gulf of Mexico uh, Friday and Friday night. Uh, on the rainfall front, Again, barrel is moving rather quickly away from the Windward Islands. We could still see some isolated totals as high as 10 inches there. The Dominican Republic and Haiti, we could see some areas of seeing four to six inches of rainfall, especially in the mountainous terrain. Uh, Jamaica, again, four to six, maybe isolated amounts as high as eight inches. And then that rainfall will spread westward across the Cayman Islands and move towards the Yucatan Peninsula as we go later into the week. So as I want to wrap up here, some key messages. Barrel is a very powerful dangerous category four hurricane is still producing tropical storm force winds, dangerous waves, uh, heavy rainfall across portions of the Windward Islands. Those uh, conditions will gradually start to diminish this evening as barrel moves quickly away, but we still have tropical storm warnings in effect for much of the uh, southern Windward Islands uh, this afternoon. Uh, barrel is forecast to be a powerful hurricane as it moves across the Caribbean. Uh, we have a tropical storm warnings for the south coast of Hispaniola. Hurricane watch in effect for Jamaica and hurricane conditions are going to be uh, possible there on Wednesday. So that's our next biggest area of concern is in Jamaica and interest in the uh, uh, Cayman Islands, Belize, Yucatan Peninsula need to monitor the progress of barrel as we go through the remainder of the week. We may be issuing additional watches and warnings for those areas in the coming days. So please stay tuned for uh, more information here at hurricanes.gov. We've got new forecast information coming out every six hours. We'll keep you updated on what the aircraft find tonight and check back for more updates here on the hurricane uh, on hurricane barrel from the National Hurricane Center as we go through the week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan.